What's up guys? So Dave and Michael Wayne here again, and this one is for all my camera nerds out there. So I've got three tips that can help you become a better photographer if you're just now starting out. First tip is to shoot in manual mode. Manual mode to me is by far the biggest asset you have in cameras. So you're able to control your ISO, your aperture, and your shutter speed in whatever situation that it calls for. If you use automatic mode, your camera is only so smart. So when you're setting up a photo that's you know super bright and the sky's bright and everything else is bright underneath it, you're not your camera's not able to adjust properly most times for all that stuff. Or low light situations, if you're in a hunting situation, there's just a lot of things that you're able to manipulate if you use manual mode that you're not able to if you use automatic. Tip number two would be to use a circular polarizing filter, an ND filter something along those lines this is one right here and these can be relatively expensive and they can be pretty cheap and what i found is middle of the road obviously with a lot of things is probably the best way to go so the reason why you want to filter let's just say you're out taking pictures in the middle of the day and it's really bright and it's just like your eyes if you're out there and it's really bright you throw on a pair of sunshades and everything looks a lot better it's more it's not nearly as harsh well, the same thing with that filter right there. If you throw that on your camera and you can adjust the light and all that kind of stuff, your photos will be a lot better in the long run. It just makes everything feel cleaner. I don't even know if that's a thing, but in my world it is. So if you use a filter, to me, it looks cleaner. It just looks less contrasty and it helps it balance out more. Tip number three to me would be, and this is kind of cliche, is to shoot too many photos. Shooting too many photos allows you to be able to come home pick through the very best ones and not have to worry about, hey, I didn't take but two pictures of this lake right here and it just don't look very good. Um, I've done that in the past and that's something that I messed up on is I would just take a few photos or come home and it's just not quite the photo that I want. So taking too many photos allows you to come home, pick through the very best one. But while we're here, fourth tip I think is really important too is I don't own a wide angle lens. And that's something that, you know, photography gets really expensive. So the way that I found is kind of a little camera hack is to be able to merge photos in Lightroom. So let's say you're out taking pictures of a lake and a mountain or whatever it is, a bunch of trees, whatever you want to get, and you can't fit it all into one frame. So here's how you work it. So you take one photo, you line it up pretty close, take another photo, and then take another or however many you want to take you bring those photos into Lightroom and then you're able to actually merge them into one photo so you know you may start out with a photo this big in that one frame and then you merge them and you have all the photo that you want into one picture and that's something that I don't think a lot of people utilize but by far the biggest question I get is what camera should I buy or what lens should I use and I want to be able to dive into all that so if you learned anything from this, hit that like button, subscribe please, and I will catch you guys next Monday.